As we mentioned, health news tonight that's going to be of great interest to a lot of parents. It's about children's vaccines and a new study raising new questions about common chemicals in all of our household products from microwave popcorn bags to water-resistant clothing and whether they are somehow making these vaccines less effective for our children than they should be. Our chief science correspondent, Robert Bazell, has more on this new study. The chemicals are called perfluorinated compounds, or PFCs. Researchers looked at children in a small fishing village at the North Atlantic and found that when the children had high levels of PFCs, common vaccines for pertussis and diphtheria were up to 40% less effective. What we found was astonishing. We found that for, for these perfluorinated compounds, the higher the exposure, the lower the antibody concentration in the child. PFCs are found in many products, including food containers, nonstick cookware, beauty products, and cleaning solutions. The EPA is already planning to phase them out by 2015. The problem is they stay around for years. Despite these early results, experts say parents need not worry about the effectiveness of vaccines. There's absolutely no indication that the vaccines are in any way uh, not working in the United States. And the industry association representing chemical manufacturers said in a statement, this study should be replicated and viewed within the context of all the existing science. Still some parents like Michelle Schooley are taking no chances with chemicals in her home that could hurt her children. These are perfect materials to cook with. She hired Ron and Lisa Barris, who run a company in Southern California to help people remove any potential dangers. That is a no-no as well. I'm trying to limit the exposure at home um, just to keep them healthier, but also because I know it's very hard to limit it out in the environment. Many experts say such precautions are not necessary, but they agree PFCs do need far more study. Robert Bazell, NBC News, New York.